Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play Nuzlocke Super Special Awesomeness of Pokemon White. Um, I went off screen and I uh, level grind everyone up to level 29, which didn't take particularly too long. So yeah, it was um, quite nice. Actually, it did take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But everyone's up to 29. I think the only moves that anyone decided to learn, Lucy, um, let's see, wanted to learn Revenge, I got rid of Fury Cutter, and Tim wanted to learn Fling, but I didn't teach him it. I think that's pretty much it. Everyone else has the same moves as before, if you even remember what any of their moves are. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and figure my way around the gym now, because there's more stuff than I need to do for the gym, so yeah, um, need to try and figure out how to work these lists. I think I'm, I think this one took me to the very top, so if I can get up here and then I walk around here and I get to battle this girl here and I'm guessing this will be near enough so that it wasn't too difficult. So I kind of realised like a few seconds before I start recording I probably need to lift that up. Anyway, Clay is at the bottom of the gym, but I will test you to see whether you are skilled enough to face the gym leader. Thank you, that is very nice of you, unknown trainer class. What are you? Um, you are a clerk in your kitty. Yay, and you've got your blur. Yay, yeah, I did change Lucy to the lead, didn't I? Yeah. That should be easy enough. I think they're probably still going to be under leveled and everything, but I don't want to go too over leveled, I guess, just because if I can totally sweep the gym leader, it's not as fun. I do still like a bit of the challenge, but I think it's going to be much easier than it was last part with the higher levels and everything. Oh, that was quick. Ah, so frustrating. Maybe I'm not skilled enough. I need more skill. I started Pokemon battles after I grew up, but I got so into it. Well, you stopped, maybe. I must try that, possibly. Anyway, we're going right down to the bottom up here, so yeah, we only actually had one trainer at battle, and it was a very anticlimactic trainer. And... And Clay seems to go well over the top for everything he's got here for the gym. Um, I actually would have preferred this place to battle the trainers. It actually looks really fun. To be honest, still looks more interesting than the random list that I had a minute ago. Anyway, we've got the wonderful Clay who has a giant crystal behind him. It's giving me a kind of fine fancy vibe to it. I want the crystal. Give me the crystal. I don't care about you. I'll even take your hat. Actually, why would I take your hat to get your crystal? I don't know, but let's see what Mr. Clay wants to say to us. Well, I think it's about time to see for myself, footies. It is about your skills that make a gym leader like Lisa take such a shine to ya. Okay, and off we go. How many Pokemon do you have, Clay? Um, what Pokemon do you have? I had a rough guess of what you have. What the fudge is that with your crotch? Dude, I don't know. I just don't really mean right. He does have a Croco... a uh, Crocorock. And he does have other Pokemon, probably, which I wasn't paying full attention to. He has three, I'm looking at the bottom screen there, but yeah. A Water Pulse should be enough to try and do some decent damage to the Kuroko thing. Yeah, I didn't think it was Kate, but it Bulldoze. Um, okay, that is actually not that strong, so that's good, but our speed fell. I'll be sure to didn't see that coming. I mean, it's a Water type. Why would he use a Water Attack? And it's going for the high proportion, which will probably heal him full HP, but it makes no difference because we'll get him down to about the same amount of HP again, anyways, or even KO if we're lucky, and it depends on the damage we do. Almost get the KO there, almost. I'll go for Water Pulse again in case, yeah, it's a bit of spam hyper potions. So I suppose it's got to use all these hyper potions up in the Crook Crook, which isn't really that much of a threatening Pokemon, so we're safe there, and we should be able to KO it, like, soon. Well, we confuse it as well, which makes it even better, so we have a chance of it actually killing itself, or at least not getting another attack on us. Um, it goes for Swagger, which can be annoying if we hurt ourselves now. So please, 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 don't hurt yourself, Lucy. Please don't get confused at the Dark Crocodile. I told you not to get confused, and yeah, that did a ton of damage. So yeah, I'm going to have to switch out here, and I will go to the loveliness that's Clyde. I didn't have to switch out, I could have healed up, but I felt safer with being confused and I got everything, so I seen a better option. Maybe it'll hurt itself in confusion now. Yes, it did. Um, and it killed itself, so that works pretty well. So I got a free switch into Clyde. Plus, I kind of need to get Lucy out just because of the drop in speed, which could have been bad. So you're going to your own Palpito. Do I want to keep Clyde in, or do I want to go to someone else? 
So I'll just get Clyde in. It's kind of a fair matchup, isn't it? So it shouldn't be too difficult. It could be so difficult. And it missed. Great. And here's now when I'm thinking I should have probably teach Clyde after ring, but I decided not to for some reason. Um, whatever. That we seem to be. I think we're the same speed, so we must have a speed tie here. And um, that's why I was faster and it was faster and all that crap. And uh, this thing's going to be annoying to take down. I think I'll go to Izuki because I think Izuki will be better taking the water attacks and seeing as Izuki resists it and Clyde is actually neutral due to the ground typing and we avoided the attack. Way to go Izuki. You seem just to avoid everything for some reason. Not that that's a bad thing, you avoid as much as you want. And it's going to go for Muddy Water again, I'm guessing it's his favourite attack or something. I'm um, not going to be doing too much damage to Kazuki at least, but I doubt Kazuki's going to be doing a massive amount of damage, especially with the Aqua Ring recovery, that's just going to make it a bit of a ball there. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to try and wear it down a bit, hopefully I can get the confusion with the Water Pulse, and go have to up next turn, just in case it gets a crit, because if it gets a crit what Muddy Water this HP, there's a good chance of kill, but the problem is it's healing up a lot of HP as well, so yeah, it's not going too well at the moment for me. But heal goes okay up nonetheless, and just to play it safe, I don't want the chance of it just to get us annoying crit with Muddy Water. It'd be good if Muddy Water missed, that would be even better, but never mind. I could just be hopeful like that, can't I? Just hoping for the Muddy Water to lovingly miss, which it doesn't seem to be doing, and I don't seem to be getting any confusion hacks on it either. I'm actually just kinda of annoying, but at least it's doing a bit less damage as the damage seems to be going probably for the minimum amount of damage rather than the maximum, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, we want to just keep going for water boxes because we have nothing else to do and this is such a anticlimactic battle. It's just because it's like it doesn't feel like it's involving much skill or prediction or tough gameplay or anything, it's just uh, just heal, attack, 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 heal, attack, 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 heal, attack, attack, etc. And we'll heal Kazuki up again, because we could have, I'm worried we won't be able to handle the last muddy water, and imagine we could heal for HP. So again, you forgot we're getting to the stage where super potions aren't going to heal us up completely. Um, which is kind of annoying, I mean, we're probably going to have to buy more hyper potions um, sooner. So yeah, don't crit for muddy water, even if it does crit, I think Kazuki can live it still. Um, so yeah, get some muddy, muddy water, yeah, I'm going for the muddy water, sure, why not? Anyway, I think he has one more Pokemon, so I guess we'll see what that is. Um, what is this? An extra drill. This one is going to be the tough one. This is the one I need to... I think it's a steel ground, this one, so... It's going to be have a few extra weaknesses with the steel typing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to check. I could heal this up as soon as I send her in. If we go for her, she has 45 defense, 86 HP. Um, oh wait, I just went to Clyde by accident. I meant to check it. Clyde stats. I just switched Clyde in. Um, uh, that was a bit silly. Um, I'm sure Clyde can handle giving up seas away after. If I would, I could have given up at any old time. Anyway, anyway, now I'm going to queue up. I was planning to possibly go to Lucy, like I could have switched her in freely and healed her up. But it looks like that's not going to be the case here. So let's go, go for the Bulldoze and. Oh. Oh, this is not good. This isn't good because. Because I can't, I, I have to heal Clyde. I can't bring Gazuki in because there's a chance I'll go for something else and kill Gazuki. Blubbin Sim won't live it. Tem, I'm presuming Bulldoze is a ground attack, so Tim can't come in. Ed might be able to. Ed actually has a super effectiveness now. Um, Ed actually has really good defense, so maybe I can switch Ed in and sure, let's try it. Um, I realize it's level 31, which is probably one of the bigger problems. I'm probably. Depending on what damage this does, I'm going to have to heal, maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of really worried here because I think I'm going to have to lose someone in this match if I don't play right, but there's not really much of it. It's going for home claws, which is making things even worse because it's going to increase its attack and its accuracy. Well, I mean, if only I didn't, well, I didn't really want that much messing up going to Clyde by accident, but still, it's going for another home claws. 
this thing is probably going to kill something now if Ed can't kill it with a brick break. So come on, Ed, you can do this. You can do this. Your whole life has been waiting for this. Dear God. Um, come on, Ed, you can live a slash. Plus two or plus four. Yes, you can live it barely. Now well done, Ed. That is brilliant. I didn't really lose Ed and we got rid of the extra drill. Wow, that was incredibly dangerous. I'm presuming it got... Oh, Ed, like, leveled up to level 30. Way to go, Ed. Um, still, that was too close for comfort. If I didn't do any of the off-screen um, uh, leveling up, I think I definitely would have lost some members there, because obviously their stats would have been lower, and I just don't think would have lived as easily. Spe Ed was two levels lower. Probably mean it would have been a lot closer to death if I never did that training, so I think that training really helped. But yeah, that was a really too close for comfort. Hmm. I see, but I sure don't like it. For such a youngin, you have an imposing battle style. I know you got people who can dig up your potential. Hmm, <laughs> take this. And we got another badge. Yay, this is our fifth badge, so we're actually kinda getting somewhere now in the game. Well, it's not like we never got anywhere by this point already, but we're at we've got our fifth badge, so we need three more before we can actually battle the Elite Four. So this is your fifth badge, uh, if that's so, pick him up to level 60 will be here. Also, I'd like to give you this to you. Well, that was the plan, but I just remembered there's something I want. Wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would you? Okay, so I'm guessing that's, like, the route onward where we got Zazu. Um, and I know I probably at some point need to uh, train Zazu off screen. Um, if I can, just to make other oh, cones away, just to make sure if someone dies, I could at least have a good level Pokemon to replace them with, other than and to level them up later at that point. But leveling up takes forever, especially with no more Pokemon and everything. I have the feeling I should have a Pokemon behind me. Anyway, off screen, I actually decided to um, register my bike into the select slot, so I could actually ride around on my bike if I want. Which is a lovely case. Moving on the bike's a lot better than moving by foot. Unless you're bad at controls and you're trying to get like into the Pokemon Center but you keep going too far to the right or fur too far to the left to actually into the door because the bike is too fast for you. Anyway, team wise I need to wait the leads slow so that's fine. I need to take the extreme share of Ed and give it to someone else. Anyone really. Um, whoever seems to be the first one to really give it to. So let's give it to Clyde. It's Clyde right beside Lucy there. And yeah, we're getting quite close to get everyone up to their next evolutions as well. Um, apart from Tim, we need a Firestone for that, but I don't plan to evolve Tim until quite later on, because Tim when he evolves doesn't learn any new moves. Anyway, we have Bianca here. Yay. Declan! Guess what? Guess what? God. Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's Jeff Wells' gym badge. Let me see. I want to take it. Oh, that's totally cool. That's amazing. No, 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 no. I can't get this shiny to be the one place while you're shining the badge. I'm also a trainer. Times like this, you battle, right? Well, luckily, we just healed there because apparently we have to battle Bianca now. Yay. I really hate the rival battles because they just come out of nowhere. It's like. I don't want to battle you. And now we're against Hardier, which is really annoying, but the levels are really silly low compared to the gyms. Everyone there was like level 28, 29, with the gym leaders a 31 extra drill, so. Um, hmm. I could go for revenge. Um, if you're unsure revenge works, it basically works like it's payback. It does more damage if you are hit first. But I don't know, it's super effective nonetheless. It should do good. Yeah, it should be okay with our events because it's a fighting type move as well. I think it normally has 60 base power, but it gets 120 um, in the case of here that you get attacked for it. What's it lived? My Pokemon could take that, I'm sure, well, proper. It's super effective and everything, and it still just didn't work that well. And she's going for the Hyper Potion now, that's not good. But the Water Pulse plus another revenge could hopefully take it out. It depends on how much Water Pulse really does. Um, 
Let's see, how much is it doing? It's doing a lot. I'll just go for the revenge again, just to try and make sure. Yeah, it's definitely going to get killed. Um, Lucy is close to death again, lovingly. I kind of wish I recorded the level grinding and sped up or something, because there were some incredibly close calls there um, with the Pokemon. I was actually training at the route we're just about to go to, which is kind of annoying. Well, not annoying, but difficult. Anyway, we're going for a Pansy. Just go to Tim, because we've not used Tim in, like, forever, because Tim's not had that many uses and the recent gym obviously being weak to ground and Tim is not really wanting them but having a Pantage here Tim can be like huh, I'm Tim and I'm fire and I have the best hair of all Pokemon and for some reason we just seem to fail to KO anything they just seem to live barely on attacks that are super effective and incredibly strong and everything it's like why are they living? I don't know but they still appear to be living Anyway, Hyper Potion, not particularly very nice, so we're going to take some more annoying leaky damage and we probably won't kill this time, no. That's annoying. Point up with leaky damage, you had a chance of actually still killing there, but nonetheless, I'll um, we'll probably get an attack. Okay, we're faster, so it's not going to get an attack off, so we can just finish off KO it and not bother about the Bantage at all now. So that's good. So I'll just end in Pig Knight. Um, Actually, we finally go to Gazuki to super fit. I'm not sure actually, I'm not sure if Pig Knight's firefighting or if it's still fire. I'm presuming it's firefighting. I know the final form's firefighting, but I'm not sure about this one, but it does look like a bit of a fighter, so it would make sense if it was. But let's look for the water pulse anyway, because I don't know, I think water pulse is probably stronger than the flying attacks we have. And we managed to confuse it as well. Even though with air slash, we have the chance of flinching as well, which is pretty good. Takedown is not a good move. Oh, Gazuki loved that a little bit. Than I thought. I was kind of worried about Gazuki like being taken down by it. It's faster. What? Was it not just slower a second ago? Maybe we are on a speed tie again and we're exact same speed, so it's really just luck who goes first. That was really close. We almost lost Gazuki, which I really hated. Actually, Gazuki was probably the easiest to level up in this area because most of the Pokemon I found were um, best suited for Gazuki to face. Anyway, we're against. I think this is the Minas of all form, the psychic type. So I'm going to go to A because even though it's a fighting type, the dark type gives him a psychic immunity so he doesn't need to bother about the psychic type attacks. Forewarn, it's forewarned of strength apparently. And we'll go for Payback. Um, we're faster though, but I think Payback's the same strength as Faint Attack if we go first with Payback. So it's not really that bad. Going for the Defense Carl is bad, however, it's kind of irritating and everything. So yeah. But I'll just go for another payback because why not? It's still not that really have I never have any other Pokemon I feel safe going to. Oh, okay, just going for hypnosis, which really sucks and it hits as well. I think it's is it not like something like six accuracy now or something? So yeah, it's kinda of annoying that still hit, but nonetheless. At least have the chance of waking up a little bit sooner with shed skin if we're lucky or is waking up right away here. Um, which was quite lucky. So yeah, more paybacking and everything. We've almost killed in. Let's go for another defense car, which is making it somewhat bulky Pokemon if it had the attack to hit me with. It probably does have an attack, but I imagine it to be a psychic type attack, which obviously we're immune to, so that is not really going to be doing much use against us. So yeah, goodbye, Mishirina. Da, 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 I don't know. And Clyde is level 30 now as well. That is good. And we defeated Bianca. Yay! Ow! Oh, I lost! Good for you, Bianca. I'm pretty sure everyone's proud of you. I haven't had a Pokemon battle since... I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Declan. You've become totally strong, huh? Well, I'm not that strong, so I I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way turned in to how your Pokemon feel. I don't know what I just said. Oh, you know what? I want to share this HM with you, Declan. And we have Fly now, so I'm going to be teaching that to Gazuki. Um, can we even use Fly? I don't know. My papa gave it to me after he tried to take me home that time. I'm sure it's so I can come home anytime he wants, so. Oh, hey, I have this to share with Sharon, too. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, I don't know where Sharon even is. Anyway, can we use Fly? Just for the sake of it, I'm going to teach Gazuki Fly for. Um, currently the now, what else we have? We've got flying strength, um, we've got cut and strength in the team I think. And we could already use cut, I know that. Fly, obviously, because is the only one able to learn it, which makes sense. I've got a feather dance because I like having area waste for an attack that always hits. Air slash is good for a special flying attack and 
War post is good for war like that. But I guess I could get rid of airways or air slash at some later point if there's a better flying move I want or something. So yeah, let's just have a quick look and see if we could fly back to our hometown or not, or if we need another badge for that. Um, oh, we can fly. That is actually pretty good. Where did we come from again? Wow, we've actually travelled a lot, haven't we? That's Nambasa City, so that's where we came from. Um, what's that? That ooh, we still have the desert to probably check out, actually. Um, so yeah, we've actually travelled quite far. Novema Town is where we went originally were. So oh wait, I pressed the wrong button. So yeah, we can fly now. I don't really remember when the leaders say when we can do stuff or not, but yeah. Yay, we could fly on a little duckling. I love the flying animation thing there. It looked actually pretty good. It's the first time I've actually ever flown in this game, because before when I played it, I never really got far until I kind of just stopped playing it. But anyway, um, obviously we have more stuff to do and all that, and continue and go through the cave. I might go to the desert if I even bother to, um, if I can bother to. So it'll be quite quick to go through anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, hopefully, where we can avoid too many incredibly tough battles. So yeah, see you then.